Before businesses opened back up and before people put away their masks, <laughs> protests against those pandemic precautions spread across the country. Now, that backlash against what some saw as overreach seeming to spur a new movement. At least 14 states have introduced or passed bills that would limit the power of state officials in the next public health crisis, according to a new report by a coalition of health leaders. In North Dakota, that's a ban on mask mandates. In Kansas, a new law would prevent the governor from shutting down schools. And in Ohio, the legislature could overturn any order issued by the governor or state health department in a public health emergency. It's state Senator Rob McCauley co-sponsored it. This was aimed at putting in place checks and balances in response to an unprecedented set of circumstances and an unprecedented use of executive power at the state level. But at Wolf's Ridge Brewing in Columbus, Bob Souter, who struggled to keep his business open during the COVID crisis, wants public health decisions in the hands of the experts, not politicians. You know, it's scary to be in Ohio and, and think that if this does happen again, our legislative body is going to be the ones that decide you know, essentially what we do to keep keep each other safe. And, and I, yeah, I think it's a bad idea. Other opponents of these laws describe them as downright dangerous. We don't want to risk anybody unnecessarily being hospitalized or, or, or worse yet dying when we could have prevented that from happening through some simple mitigation public health measures. What's happening in state houses across the country shows even as the pandemic nears an end, the political fight is far from over. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.